Just going to post a little video here. Um, I'm just taking random shots. This is the back of the truck, but logically. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get up for a video this week. Um, I'm going to kind of do this as a little bit of an update. Yesterday, I went down uh, to Long Island, um, halfway out the island, uh, Kings Point, and uh, picked up a uh, roll-off um, dump trailer. Um, it's one of those trailers that uh, you can load a uh, like a construction debris dumpster on um, and then take it to the dump and uh, unload it. Uh, it's where you can take the dumpster out to somebody's uh, construction site or uh, home project or something like that. Just dump the dumpster off and uh, you know, usually the trailer comes with a bunch of dumpsters, but uh, this one only came with one. But anyways, um, I didn't get any video of it because uh, I left early in the morning when it was dark. And uh, by the time it got light, I was down towards New York City and traffic was getting uh, pretty bad. Um, as you know, that it people around big cities they drive like maniacs you know and uh, um, you'll be jammed up and um, somebody from the far left lane on a six lane highway will uh, uh, swing across in front of everybody else and and shoot off an exit so um, I really couldn't get the camera put up there then when I got there um, I had some issues with the trailer. I had talked to the guy and he assured me that he had taken it to his mechanic and um, that everything was good. Um, the tires were good to go, the lights worked, and I get there and I hook my truck up to the trailer and the lights don't work. Um, so we, I kind of pulled it out of the spot in his yard where he had it parked and, and we fooled around with it for a while and we couldn't get him to work. And um, I, what I did is, uh, or what he did is, uh, he took me over to his mechanic. I pulled the trailer um, about a mile away to his mechanic and um, his mechanic after an hour and a half was able to fix the problem. What it was is, is a grounding issue with the lights. So. Um, I got it, uh, got it hooked up, got the lights working. Um, there was a spare tire on it. Um, the tires were, there was four tires on the trailer and, uh, three of them were fair. There was no weather cracking or age cracking on them. Um, but one of the tires didn't really look that hot. So, um... I was able to pull it back, uh, more traffic issues, pulling the trailer back. Uh, is Anybody that's familiar with Long Island knows that the only way that you can get back off of Long Island is kind to go through the outskirts of the city. So um, I got it back up um, upstate a little bit, pulled off into a rest area, kind of checked it out. Um, you know, felt the tires to make sure that they weren't hot. I wasn't hearing any thumping, so um, make sure all the it was tied down good and everything, um, or recheck the tie downs on it. And um, I uh, got to about um, 100 miles away from home, and uh, one of the tires on the trailer blew. And it, it, it was the one that I kind of suspected all along was, was kind of bad. But um, it, there was no pre-warning. It wasn't thumping. It wasn't doing anything like a belt was separating in there or the tr cords were separating or anything. Um, but I got it... Uh, um, I pulled over, took a look at it, and uh, I was in on a, kind of on a um, freeway, so I kind of uh, limped off to the uh, first exit and um, um, pulled into like a little uh, parking area. 
uh, near the exit. Now this is kind of in rural uh, area, farm country. Um, and there happened to be a guy there <clears throat> um, sitting in that thing and I asked him if there was a tire store around and uh, he directed me to a tire store about six miles away and I took it there and uh, to begin with, the f there was a spare tire on it, but uh, to, I didn't have a jack with me to be able to jack it up. But uh, anyways, when I got out to look at the thing, I felt the spare tire and it was flat. So um, I limped down to the tire store. <laughs> um, he took the spare tire off, tried to put air in it, and it leaked. And not only did it leak, but it was the wrong size tire to begin with. So um, then uh, upon further investigation, the trailer apparently has got some weird sized tires and they didn't have any in stock. So I ended up having to leave the trailer at the tire store about 100 miles now. I'm making this video. I still haven't called the guy. It's early in the, the next morning. Um, I've got to call the guy um, after a while to found, find out if he had any luck locating a tire. I should have said that the tire store was closing when I got there. So the one guy was good enough to kind of stick around, pull that spare tire off to see if he could help me out and get me back on my way. But the tire store was closing. So um, um, he kind of checked his computer and he found that this uh, um, Mydeke, I think it's a tire company, um, might have had uh, three of them in their entire inventory throughout the country. So he's got to find out if he can get this tire um, and get it shipped in and then get it installed. So I've got to call him this morning to see if he's able to get it. Um, but anyways, that's kind of the extent of that. Now, the next thing that's on the agenda is um, I've got to go out and uh, to Colorado and pick up um, um, some kind of an RV for somebody. I'll... Uh, I might even, uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll pull, the guy sent, sent me a picture of the thing, and uh, um, it's like an old style RV, um, might be kind of like a classic thing. The guy doesn't, the guy wants me to pull it back on my trailer because uh, he doesn't want to put any more miles on the thing or burden it with that amount of miles, but uh, so I, I've been kind of busy, haven't really gotten a lot of work done on the tractor this week, so um, I'll, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a tractor video up this week, so I'll uh, at least get this thing posted just to kind of let everybody know what I'm, what's going on. Yeah, and there is, uh, there's a camper that I've got to pull back. Um, from Colorado and I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to uh, do it. I've got a bunch of stuff going on. I've still got to get that trailer, got to get it up to Canada um, and then uh, take care of this and I've got that other project I've got to do for a guy making them floor grates. So um, I'll keep you posted as to what's going on. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, past the updates that I've already posted here uh, in this video. Um, it, when I had left off, I had uh, told you about the tire going flat. Well, um, I called the guy back the next day, and uh, after he had told me that night that he was going to be there the next day, um, he wasn't there. There was some girl at the desk uh, at the counter of the tire store. So um, I talked to her. She said, well, I don't know anything about it. He didn't tell me about it. Um, so you're going to have to call him back tomorrow when he comes into work. <laughs> I thought, man, are, are you serious? This trailer is supposed to be in Canada on Thursday. Um, and this is Wednesday. Um, so, you know, I told her, okay, well, 
you know, uh, if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. I'll just have to call the guy again and tell him, tell him that uh, I can't get a hold of the guy or he's not in store today, and the girl doesn't know anything about it. Anyways, I hung up with her. About half an hour later, she calls me back and she says, "Hey, I I called uh, called him at home and talked to him, and um, he checked." Um, the branches and they don't have any tires available that in that size so she recommended a place um, that I could pull the trailer to to and they would fix it there but it was like 15 or 20 miles away from there um, so I asked her I says listen if I could find one locally where I live and bring it out to you, can you uh, install it, mount it on the rim and and get me going? And she says, yeah, we can do that. So I called the local tire store, my local tire store that I go to all the time, and they had four of these tires in stock. So apparently this kind of BS about this being an oddball size tire wasn't true. Um, they That little tire store in that little farming community just couldn't get it. Or didn't want to get it but anyways so the saga continues I get the tire take it out there they mount it um, she didn't even charge me to do it she says well just tip tip the mechanic so I gave the guy 20 bucks but I went to hook the trailer up and um, let me regress here and go back to Long Island after um, in the video I talked to you about taking the trailer to the mechanic and he having to work on it and it turned out to be a bad ground. After he fixed that and I uh, reconnected the trailer, um, replugged it in, my brake controller wouldn't recognize the trailer being there. Um, you know I tried to reset the brake controller and it says trailer not connected, no trailer connected. Um, so I we fiddled or fiddled around with the plug-in connection and got it going and I had no issues with it all the way back through the blown tire. When I went to reconnect it after the guy mounted the tire for me, it my controller wouldn't recognize the trailer, brake controller. I did everything. I probably unplugged it and replugged it back in about it a dozen times I took a, a screwdriver and went in there and tried to clean the contacts in in the uh, the plug and tried to pry them over so that they made better contact it wouldn't do anything um, and I knew that if I got stopped in an inspection man um, it would be in trouble, you know, the, they'd take the trailer out of service, so. Um, and then somebody would end up paying a huge towing bill or a service charge to repair the brakes. Um, so, I, I didn't know whether I was going to tell you how I got it home. I took a route that most people probably would never dare do. And I did it because um, probably the, the police would, would never suspect that uh, somebody would be pulling a trailer on this road. And it had the least amount of hills on it um, and the least amount of braking that you would be doing. So I, I got the trailer back. So the saga is going to continue. Needless to say, this is Thursday. This is the day that it was supposed to go over to Canada. And um, we're not taking it to Canada. Um, first off, somebody else negotiated this deal. And when I talked to the guy, uh, the Canadian guy that bought the trailer yesterday, he said, well, I really need this trailer. And I says, okay, you need to have our money ready when I bring it over. And he says, it's got, and I told him it had to be cash, um, an American cash. 
and he says, oh, no, I'm going to be giving you a check. Actually, you're going to be dropping the trailer off at a fabricator of mine, and um, he's going to be giving you a check. <clears throat> and the money amount that he was going to give me, plus he also included extra for the tire that I had to buy and uh, the tipping of the mechanic and some extra money in there. But it, what it was is the original amount didn't coincide with the guy that negotiated the deal. So I got off the phone with him, told him, he says, well, I really need the trailer, you know, and I'll be responsible if you get pulled over for taking care of the trailer, but I really need it to come in on Thursday. And I says, well, okay, I'll do it. But then I called the guy that negotiated the deal in the first place, and he didn't want to do it. Uh, he called him up, he got him on the phone, he says, that's not what our deal was, our deal was for this. Now he's bought a tire, he spent a lot of extra time, so we're going to need extra money for it. And he, we're not going to pull it over to Canada with no brakes. <clears throat> so the saga is going to continue. I have the trailer in the shop parking lot, and um, apparently the guy now wants me to take a look at it and um, see if I can fix a brake problem for him. But the problem is, is um, again, today's Thursday, the day that it was supposed to go over. Um, I am leaving for Colorado in the morning. Um, I'm going to go out there and try and pick the trailer up on a, on Saturday. So tomorrow's Friday. I'm going out there and trying to pick, or I'm going to pick the trailer up on Saturday. Um, try and get a little sleep and then either leave uh, very early Sunday morning or late Saturday um, afternoon, night, and uh, be back here very late Sunday, but probably early Monday. Um, so then I will be working on that trailer also. But I am going to try and post a little video on um, the tractor. I do need a little bit of help um, trying to find some parts for the brake. Uh, valve assembly. Um, I can't find a rebuild kit. Um, I called my guy up and he wants to sell me a whole assembly and uh, I don't want a whole assembly. I just want to fix it or be able to rebuild it. But um, I'll bring you back um, and hopefully next week uh, we'll have a lengthy tractor video.